Built in 1888 as a retreat for travelling businessmen, the majestic Fairmont Banth Springs Hotel is located in Alberta, Canada, and is situated next to the Banff Railway Station on the Rocky Mountaineer Line. The hotel is surrounded by picture-perfect mountains and forest, which earned it the nickname the Castle of the Rockies. During the hotel's 128-year history, it's held host to many famous guests, including Queen Elizabeth II, Helen Keller, and even Marilyn Monroe. With its rich and long legacy, it's no wonder that the Banff Springs Hotel has gained a haunted reputation, with many guests experiencing ghost sightings and unexplainable events. The haunting forest which surrounds this 100-year-old hotel sets a chilling and mysterious backdrop for its supernatural encounters. Let's explore this strange hotel with six creepiest Fairmont Banff Springs ghost stories. Number 6. The Bride The story of the ghost bride residing at the Fairmont Banff Springs is one of the most famous, to the extent that she even has her own stamp and coin. Her story dates back to the late 1920s, when the young bride was staying at the hotel on her wedding day. Dressed in her wedding gown, she was walking down one of the hotel's marble staircases when she suddenly slipped and fell to her death. Theories surrounding her passing say that her heel may have become caught in the hem of her dress, while others even suggest that a gown may have even caught fire from brushing against the candle flame. However, it is still unclear. Whatever the reason for the woman's sad demise, many hotel staff and guests have reported seeing a figure in a wedding dress, motioning up and down the staircase and dancing in the ballroom upstairs while seemingly yearning for her husband to dance with her on her wedding day. Number 5. Sam the Bellman Sam McCauley was a gentle Scotsman who worked at the Banff Springs Hotel during the 1960s and 1970s as the head bellman. Sam passed away in 1975 and his spirit has remained in the hotel ever since. Both staff and guests have encountered Sam's ghost, offering them help and service. One night, two elderly women called upon the bell desk for assistance after the key would not work. The bellman on duty at the time was busy with other arrangements and couldn't respond for 15 minutes. However, when he arrived at the woman's room, the door was mysteriously unlocked. The bellman was surprised and asked, How did you open the door? The women stated that an older bellman dressed in a plaid jacket, which matched Sam's description, had helped them. Many other guests experienced seeing Sam's haunting ghost in his old office, which is now a guest room on the mezzanine floor, and have seen his apparitions on the 6th, 7th and 9th floors of the hotel. Number 4. Haunted Rooms Many of the staffers at the Banff Springs Hotel claim that specific rooms are haunted and report many guests experience ghost apparitions. These experiences include guests reporting having pillows pulled from underneath their heads while sleeping, or even being pushed off the bed by an invisible force. It's safe to say that there may be certain rooms you should avoid in this hotel if you want a good night's sleep. One room holds a particularly grisly past, and many guests who stay in this room have experienced being awakened by screaming. When they turn on the lights, they claim to see bloody handprints on the mirror. After years of reports of terrified guests, the hotel manager decided it was best to lock down this particular room to keep guests safe. The area around this room, number 873, is now forbidden and inaccessible from the hallway. Number 3. Room 873 So, what happened in room 873 to make it so haunted? The legend of the room began after a man murdered his wife and daughter before he committed suicide. After that horrifying event, room 873 began experiencing paranormal activity. Guests 
who were unfortunate enough to stay in this haunted room before it was sourced from the public, claimed that they were terrorised by frightening disembodied shrieks and screams in the middle of the night. Maids cleaning the room often spoke about having to remove bloody fingerprints from the bathroom mirror, which would repeatedly reappear the following day. Representatives of the Banff Springs Hotel stressed that the murder-suicide is merely a ghost story and did not take place. They state that there is no blood-spattered room sealed away, although many guests roam the floors attempting to prove this legend is real. Bizarrely, the eighth floor is the only floor not to have the room number 73, which may indicate that this story is indeed true. Many ghost hunters claim that there is evidence that room 873 is hidden away. And if you knock along the walls between each room on level 8, you'll hear a lighter, hollow sound where room 873 is alleged to be. Some guests have even reported seeing the spirit of the daughter who was murdered standing outside the hidden room, appearing to be lost. Could the ghost of room 873 still reside at Banff Springs? Number 2. 1913 Photo This photograph was taken in 1913, just one year before the outbreak of the Great War, and captures a group of kitchen and dining staff working at the Fairmont Bamp Springs Hotel during the summertime. It is likely that some of these young men would have enlisted in the Alberta Regiment and marched off to war, leaving the peace of Alberta's Rocky Mountains and entering a bloody battle. However, Upon looking at the photograph further, you can see half a one man's body on the left side of the photo. Did this photo capture a sighting of a ghost, or is it just double exposure? Number 1. Sonia's Story The following story was experienced by a woman named Sonia, who stayed at the Banff Springs Hotel for a work conference. When booking into the hotel, she had no idea that it was haunted. Staying in room 291, Sonia suddenly woke in the middle of the first night and claims to have become paralysed by something she says took her over. Terrified, she was physically unable to move in her bed and claims to have seen an apparition of a female in a white dress, surrounded by candles on the floor and standing in front of a mirror she was touching. She says the mirror is what stood out the most because even though the female was standing in front of it, she could not see her face in the reflection. Sonia then felt a release and was finally able to move again before the female figure vanished. She decided to do some research into her experience and wasn't sure if it was a ghost of the bride or someone from room 873. Either way, she says her experience will always stay with her. Number 